Hey, this is Josh from the uh, Broken Ogre Farm. I'm actually sitting in my truck, uh, not at the farm. Um, my truck has um, my radio that I installed a while back. Um, has a connector somewhere in the back of it that's loose. Every once in a while, I'll hit a big bump. Um, or I've had it happen before. I hit a big bump, radio quit working. Um, I have to go back in and I, last time I did it I was working behind it and I was trying to get the wiring fixed and, I, and it just started working. I don't know which wire did it so I'm not sure what I did to fix it. I just happened to redo it. Um, I'm going to pull apart the dash real quick. It doesn't take that long with this setup. I have to remove this piece here. I have to pull that out. I have to pull this piece and that out. And then I'll get the radio out. At least that's the way I'm pretty sure it has to be done. Because um, I have to get the bottom of this to take the screws out. Um, anyway, so I'm going to do all that real quick. I'll show you where I'm at. And then what I'm going to do is I have a bunch of little zip ties. Zip ties. Uh, I'm going to zip tie all the connectors together to make sure it does not pop loose next time I hit a bump. Assuming that's still the problem. Um, anyway, I'm going to get to that. I'll show you some steps as I go. Um, talk to me a sec. Alright, I um, don't know if you can see that well. Uh, I have the radio to the radio face. I got all the panels out. Because not much holding on. There's two screws there, two screws there, two screws here, three screws down here. So it doesn't take very long. I don't know if you saw all that. Just a bunch of pointing around. Um, anyway, so... Uh, I'm going to pull these four screws out. I'm going to hold on. It's annoying. Uh, I'm going to pull these four screws out. Uh, pull the radio out. And then I'm going to work on that. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. But uh, so where we are right now. Doesn't take very long. Just more of a nuisance. I had to pull the connectors off of the back of the um, AC controls, outlets, power outlets, and um, whatever that one is. So, alright, one sec. Let me get the radio pulled. Well, as y'all can see, I've got the radio pulled out. Uh, I've laid all the wires. I have the accessory on. Switch on. So, I should be getting power. Um, but I'm not. I still have a dead radio. So, the way this works is this radio is not, is, um, not, hot, not, not straight wired off accessory. It has what's a CAN bus connector adapter like this. Um, and there are some loose wires there, but it ties in and it's supposed to grab the signal from the CAN bus, which is the communications bus for the entire truck, um, and tell the radio to turn on. So I'm going to check to see if that's it. Well, one, I'm going to look and see if there's power on the main line, which is. Um, this yellow wire that comes in and comes into the back of the connector here so I'll probably pull this connector out and see if there's power there I've got my multimeter um, so we'll see how that works I grabbed a, <laughs> a, a bent staple to use as a uh, potential uh, what's the word I'm looking for a pin for the back so I can back, back probe some of these things so let's see if I can find a decent ground somewhere. I think my best bet is down here. But probably not. So I'm going to pull this connector here. Check this fuse. There's a fuse. Fuse looks all good. It's a 15 amp fuse. I'll check across that in a minute when I put the power back on here. Um, so we're going to look for some voltage. See if I can get some. According to um, the diagram on the radio, power is this yellow wire here. And I do have power there. Oh, 
So I'll show you that. I got a ground over here on the floor. I've got it powered into here, and then I have 12 I have battery voltage. So we are getting power there. So what am I not getting? So red should be ignition, which is just red. Yes, yeah, just red. Or it's just red. So red is pin 1, 2, 3 here. So again, I do have ignition voltage on the red wire, so that's there. Um, so if I turn this off, I should have lost the switched ignition which I have still on pin 3 nothing there check yellow it should be a constant hot I still have voltage so I am the radio is being commanded to turn on it looks like um, red battery yellow is battery red ignition chassis ground maybe I don't have a good chassis ground I'll check that in a second um, I don't have an antenna remote, I don't have it, and I don't care about illumination. So let me switch this over to ohms, or to uh, buzzer, and black is the chassis ground. Where is black? Right there, right next to that one. And so I'm ohming out. So I'm connected there, running to the chassis ground on black, on pin that pin and it says it's you know you know yeah, there's a little bit of resistance to pin ohms or something but you know nothing critical should be working all right um so well that's not good because that means i'm pushing power to the radio i'm pushing switch to the radio so it should be being told to be turned on. And so the CAN bus is telling it to turn on. Uh, let me plug it back in. And then let's see if we're getting voltage across that breaker. Or the breaker. The fuse. So back to on and we're going to try the fuse here if I can get to the print. Bolts on that. Bolts on the other side so I am definitely getting voltage. Oh now it wants to work. That's what happened last time. But I have lost all my memory and I've lost everything else. Uh, that's so frustrating. Well, it's still working. Um, I think what I'm going to end up having to do, there's no, if you look at the back of the radio, there's no way to, to really um, put a connect, anything on there to hold it in better. Um, so I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to put a, a, a bigger tie strap up around right here. And tie strap up some of these cables to put some strain relief on these here so maybe if it's bouncing around the weight won't hit this connector so much I really don't know what's knocking it loose uh, I probably will throw a couple around this just to make sure it's not, not, not that um, and probably the big connector back here I'll throw some around that some of the smaller ones around that real quick just to cinch everything down a bit um, but for now, I mean, it's working. I have to reprogram it again. Joy, uh, show you what I did here in just a sec. So be right back. All right. Um, so we've got a green wire there or green wrap there, green wrap there. And there's a heavy black one there holding the whole bundle up. Ah. Light falling down. 
anyway so i'm going to button this back up uh, i'll probably loosen tighten up some of these other loose connections um anyway i'll show you when i get a little further down the road or when i get it back together so let's make sure it works well it's still working so we're gonna go with it i mean i, I put this stress release in there hopefully it'll continue to work um that's about all i can really do for it right now um if it goes down again it's just that connector on the back i don't know what i'm gonna do i mean it's not a super expensive radio but i'm not gonna replace it for that i might try and pull that connector out and squeeze it in a little bit maybe it's just loose so anyway i've lost my hat but y'all you know, can see my bald head sorry about that anyway um so that's the radio and that's the uh all the work I'm going to do on the truck today, I fix a little short video on the upper console replacement as well. Um, you know, that's about all there is to it. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Do all the new normal YouTube-y stuff. Uh, anyway, have a good one. Thanks, y'all.